If you are watching this video today after millions of Christians have disappeared from the earth, sadly you have missed the rapture. Jesus has appeared in the skies and millions of Christians who have put their faith in him have disappeared from the earth and joined him in heaven. The Bible said that Jesus would descend in the clouds and call all of those who have a faith and trust in him to join him and be with him forever. And this is what will happen to those who have been left behind. A man called the Antichrist will rise to power in Europe and demand that people everywhere pledge their loyalty to him and worship him as God. But I want to admonish you, do not take this mark, do not take this chip, because the Bible says that God will destroy all of those who take this mark and worship the beast. This is what you must do if you are left behind. Number one, repent of your sin. Repent of the sin of not believing in Jesus Christ. This is the one sin that sends people to hell. This is the one sin that must be repented of. Number two, ask Jesus to come into your life to be your Savior and Lord. Number three, remain faithful to him until he returns back to the earth. The Bible says that whoever endures to the end will be saved. Number four, tell your family and friends, but be careful because the Bible says that brother will rise up against brother and those of your own family may be your enemies. If you are listening to this message before the rapture happens, I strongly encourage you, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, receive him as your savior today. Because you must either live for Christ now or you may be required to die for him in the future. Please pray this prayer today. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. Jesus, I believe that you died for my sin. I know that I am a sinner. And I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I ask you to come into my life and be my Savior and Lord. I want to live a life that pleases you. I want to live with you forever. Amen. If you pray that prayer, the Bible says, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. My goal is to encourage you, not to distress you. And my greatest desire is to see you in heaven and to live with you forever. Please heed this message and pass it on.